but we've got to bring you the national science and maths quiz and fancy film school begins the redemption campaign today as the battle it out with saint augustine's college and a Guafo senior high school in the preliminary contest in the central region this will be the first time they have to start from the very bottom of the competition after reigning champions saint augustine's college eliminated them in a fiercely contested one eighth fixture last year before we link up with Maxwell Agbawa, live from the Central Region, here's how it all went down last year. Okay, so how is it going to go down today? Maxwell Agbawa is live from Cape Coast now. He joins me. Uh, Maxwell? Yeah, Mama V. Yes, Maxwell. Uh, I'm sure that, you know, nobody is boasting and saying this is going to be easy. What, 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 tell us about the conversations ongoing, the little tiny conversations on the ground. Well, Mama, the, the, <laughs> the bragging has started in earnest. In fact, it started yesterday evening when we had the opportunity to go out um, in the evening after the contest. Um, for some of the places that we visited, uh, I mean, the contest between Infancy Pim School and then Apam Senior High School and then the Guelph Brim Senior High School um, generated conversations among, you know, amongst people. Some of the old students who met while outside were very happy um, that the contest is now a bit closer to them. The preliminary round of the competition is closer to them. You know that back for COVID, this would have been happening, you know, at the University of Ghana um, Business School. So the conversation really is about how happy they are and how they think that it is time for um, Infancy Pimp School to get some, some kind of revenge you know, um, to progress in the um, competition. You remember that sometime last year, they were kicked out painfully um, by St. Augustine's College. I was in that hall um, at the University of Ghana Business School, and before that contest actually started, you could see the euphoria, I mean, the excitement, the anthem. I mean, I, I'm not old boy from fancy in school, but I felt the goosebumps <laughs> when the boys got up and then started singing their school anthem. But that did not shield them from the far power you know, from St. Augustine's College. At the end of that contest, St. Augustine's College beats them with a 20-point margin. So this is the time for them to make some, you know, uh, I mean, give us some kind of impression about Infant St. Peter's School. Let us know that they are two-time winners of the National Science and Masters. And I hear that is what will make the boys come in like wounded lions. Mm. But in their contest against Apam SHS, the Liberal Food Brain SHS, Apam SHS is not a school you would want to consider as an underdog. In fact, in the 2019 first regional um, championship, and that was organized, St. Augustine's College, which, you know, the St. Augustine's College would beat in front of the school, only managed to beat a Palm Senior High School with just one point at the regional championship. So really, it's not going to be a walkover um, for in front of the school at all. You're going to get a good run for your money. We have the contestant from our Palm um, here right now. Let's, let's, let's try to have an interaction with them. Let's try to get them talk to them and find out from them how prepared they are. But we want to speak to you now. So you, you just come. Let's, let's get closer to them, find out from them how prepared they are. Apart from high school, welcome to George. Thank you. You're contestant um, against in France in school. Tell me, what is the feeling like? like? You know, okay, I want you to project what here. Yeah. In France in yes, you've met them before. And then you they are very good. So as you are coming to meet them, also prepared very well so that you can give them to you. Mm. Boot for boots. I like that. <laughs> what would you say? Um, how prepared are you from fancy school school? We go for a break. We prepared very well. Mm. And we are in for the best. You are in for the best. Okay. You know, last year, um, uh, your, uh, uh, um, your seniors um, contested against uh, the Gaston Stalin and all of that. And the performance, people were wild by their performance. That's that. The Gaston only beat them with just one point to get to the finals of the regional championship. You know, people have a lot of expectations. What should we expect? You are the contestant. Tell us one thing. Nothing by the best. Okay. Thank you very much. But I'm sure you all wrote your words. Tell me, what was it like? Was it was it easy or was it difficult as people were speculating? It was normal. Oh, it was normal. Okay. You are relaxed. NSMQ contestant. So you can say that it was normal. Anyway, thanks so much for speaking to us. Okay, great. Okay, so we just seen um, the contestant from Apam Senior High School. They just arrived here uh, on the ground. That bus over there, um, contestant from Munibas Secondary School, he also arrived about 15 minutes uh, 
a goal. They are waiting to come in. We understand that the boys from Infants Open School would also be getting here within you know some uh, minutes. So <laughs> we, we are all excited here. But remember also that at eleven thirty, the second contest is going to be between Swedro SHS, Agri Memorial SHS, and then Holy Child School. It's another contest you'll have to look forward to. I mean, a lot of people are talking about. So the first contest, which is at nine a.m. <laughs> Call it a cracker. The second one, same. And this is just a preliminary round of competition. We've not, we are not yet at the elimination stage. This is just for, for the starters. You won't want to call it cutting razors. But already, there yeah, are a lot of expectations. And then the third contest, Ghana National College, then Assin State College, and then TI Amas um, Potting. So that's what will be happening here um, at the University of Cape Coast, um, where the preliminary round of competition is taking place, my love. I was I was hoping that the bragging won't start right now. We wait till the to till the end because you never know what can happen. But what's usually the atmosphere? Uh, because we, obviously because of COVID nineteen, uh, we're not uh, allowing you know uh, supporters essentially to come to the centres. How are the contestants made to feel relaxed and still feel that they have people supporting them? Well, um, a teacher I spoke to um, yesterday um, is from Archbishop Porter Girls and then some of the other schools, they told me that they made their students aware that although they cannot be physically you know, present, um, that's the students, the other students cannot be physically present at the auditorium during the contest. They should know that you are following keenly and they are monitoring events up to the minutes, you know, uh, uh, updates of the event and you are following with your heart, soul and mind in fact yesterday before i spoke to the contestants from ahantaman um senior high school what they told me uh, was that they were tensed and they said they were tensed because of the expectations from old boys from their family members from their friends they say early in the morning when they wake up the, the whatsapp messages they wake up to alone kind of you know make them tense and mm. that they were nervous they told me before the contest but at the end of the day when they got onto the stage against ahantaman and the bbn senior high technical school Archbishop Porter girls beat these two schools to qualify to the elimination stage um, of the um, competition. Mm. So really, the excitement is still there. Although a lot of people are not physically present, you know, in the auditorium, mm. you could still see that excitement that comes with NSMQ online. Okay. And if you scroll through a lot of WhatsApp groups, you find that taking place there on Facebook, on Twitter, and other, any other social media platform. And I'm told that the schools, especially the um, the past students, they have WhatsApp platforms, and that is where the real action takes place. And at this <laughs> point, I really want to be uh, on the on the WhatsApp platform of the uh, of the MOBAS, and then maybe probably a Palm Senior High School or a Guelph Brim to actually have a feel of what is going there right now. Yeah. Some of them tell me that even when they are at work, they have to stick to you know the updates on Facebook, on Joy News, online, just to follow you know, what is happening. So although they are not physically here, mm. they are following with keen interest, Mama. Yeah. Maxwell, stay right there because you've been asking a lot of questions. We have a trivial question. I want you to attempt an answer. Oh, don't so think about it. Spot. Yes, yes, yes. But don't don't think about <laughs> it too much. No way, no way, no way. Listen, which school has defended the NSMQ? Which school in the history of the NSMQ uh, successfully uh -huh. defended the trophy. Just one attempt. Perfectly gone. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Maxwell, your answer Go is on. your answer is correct. Obviously, that's why you do the reporting <laughs> from the ground. That's. <laughs> why. <laughs> but, uh, two balls of Banku for getting the answer correct. Most definitely. Thank you so much. <laughs> and that's my colleague Maxwell Agbagba live from Cape Coast. And you know, once he's there, he will ensure that we get all the action right here. So wait for it. We will tell you how it is going down when it gets underway proper and you can join the conversation. But we will be going to Facebook to also monitor the responses from the trivial question. But let's take a look at the uh, other happenings in terms of the fixtures today from the central region. Which schools are competing uh, against other schools? So we've talked about Infantapem and Apam and Iguafua Brim, but there will also be Suedro Agri Memorial Senior High School and Holy Child. And then Ghana National College, Asin State College, and TI Amas 
also competing. So this is how it looks like. Uh, the first contest, 9 a.m., which is in less than 30 minutes. And then the uh, second contest would follow at 11 a.m. at 1.30 p.m. The third contest would get underway. Make sure you're hooked on all our social media handles, the join you social media handles. We will keep you updated with the schools that will come through as winners at the end of the preliminary stage central zone competition that's all today 11th of september all right but here's a question that i asked at the very beginning of the show our trivial question on the nsmq and the question is which school in the history of nsmq successfully defended the trophy maxwell has given us the correct answer what what, what have you been saying uh, as a response to the question that we've posed. We will go to Facebook. Can we go there now? So that we can we can see what you've been talking about. Let's see. This one, this is like really easy. I expect everybody to get it. So if you attempted it on Facebook and you don't get it, you would give me a prize for not getting this one correct. So let's see who we have. Shall we begin? All right, uh, Mahmoud Nuruddin, uh, Presbyterian Boys. Yes, that's correct. And you actually give the years 2008, 2009. Absolutely, you're right. Uh, Kweku Andrew, Presek. Uh, Nicholas also says Pres Presbyterian Boys. Noble Isaac, Naneji. Uh, All right, um, okay, so Naneji, Abu Safianu, uh, Inaj, Bavel, A plus Abdul, Hafiz. Okay, uh, everybody that attempted it, I think I said it. This is supposed to be really, really easy. I don't even know why Agbagba was running away from it when I said I had a, a trivial question to ask. So, just as I expected, all the attempted. Uh, uh, everybody that attempted to answer got it correct. So thank you very much uh, for joining in with this uh, question. All right, so that's the trivia question for today. We went back in history uh, to find out which school has successfully defended the trophy. And as uh, you know from the responses that we've gotten, it's Presec and 2008-2009. But the broadcast of the 2020 National Science and Mass Quiz is brought to you by Joy News, your most credible news channel, and supported by Bright Senior High School in Cochrane Tumi. Building dreams, shaping future, DBS roofing, roofing, papa papafi, Adonko hand sanitizer, Kuroposuro, Adonko next level energy drink, the premium energy drink. All right, so that's it for this segment where we put the spotlight on the National Science and Mass Quiz. We've updated you in terms of the contest to come this morning from Kipko's, my colleague Maxwell Agbaba, right there reporting for us and then we've also done our trivial question for the day we've got show business news coming up with caddy but stay with us you're watching the am show